What's up everybody, Sam Smice here. Today I wanna to show you how to make a funk cowbell. Now I know that this sound originates from an 808 cowbell, but I wanna show you how we can synthesize it from scratch. If you're watching this video, then you've probably seen some of my other videos. And if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please go ahead and subscribe. And also go ahead and give this video a like to help with that YouTube algorithm. All right, let's go and jump right into it. Now I think that this funk genre is relatively new. I think you have some variations of the genre. You have some variations that make it more sound like house music. So you have like funk house. And this has that signature sound, that pluck sound, which is actually an 808 cowbell using a lot of distortion on it or detuning on it or just a lot of effects on it and really just make it sound really gritty and dirty in a lot of these tracks. Now I was doing some research on how to make an 808 cowbell and I found this article and some other articles that said that it is made up of two square wave oscillators, one at 800 hertz and another at 540 hertz, and then running that through a bandpass filter. So what I can do is I can open up Ableton's operator just to test this out, what I read in those articles. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a series. So instead of running them all through each other, these oscillators, I'm gonna put it into the series. So you can hear both of them at the same time instead of using like FM modulation, which is what it would be for this one. So this gives you different options of how the oscillators are processed. I'm gonna click that one and let's go ahead and raise up the level on oscillator B because we're gonna be using two oscillators. So negative 12 dB for B and, and negative 12 dB for A. Now for the wave form, I'm gonna do square D for both of these. If I click on this fixed option, then I can actually choose a fixed uh, Hertz amount. So let's do 500, uh, 540 Hertz for this first one. And then for the second one, we'll do 800 Hertz. And uh, let's do fix, gotta hit that and then do 840 Hertz or 800 Hertz actually. So that's what those two sound like together. Let's go ahead and shape up the envelope though. So I'm gonna reduce the sustain here, give it some release. So if I play around with the envelopes, I can get something kind of like this. And now I'm gonna add on a bandpass filter. So select this filter and then go ahead and add on a bandpass filter. So maybe somewhere around there, I'm just using a 12 dB slope on that filter. So maybe something like that gets it to kind of sound like a cowbell using the frequencies at 540 and 800. But then I downloaded some samples of cowbells. This is Ableton's cowbell that comes stock with Ableton. And then these two are other cowbells that I downloaded from just other sources like Splice. So that Ableton one sounds actually different from these two. And if I just go through Splice and check out some other 808 cowbells, I mean, they all kind of sound like the, this one. So now if I wanna copy this Max V cowbell sound, which sounds more like most of the other cowbell samples, the 808 cowbells that I've heard, I'm gonna hit this hold button when I play it on my spectrum analyzer, which is span, it's a free spectrum analyzer. It says it's around 562 Hertz. And then also the second one's around like 824. So it also has a notes up there. It says C sharp and then uh, G sharp as well. So what I can do is I can go to my serum and let's go ahead and do basic shapes. We'll do a square wave, raise this up plus one octave and let's go to my second oscillator We'll do a square wave as well and raise this up to plus one octave and plus seven semitones. So now if I play a C sharp note on my keyboard, then this should be G sharp. And it will sound like that. Now let's go and just check out the span and see what frequencies these are. So this says around uh, 558 and then this one says around 832, 830-ish or so. And what you could do is you could play around with the detuning these just to make it sound a bit more cowbelly because they're not exact pitches um, exactly in tune. So I could maybe detune this a bit. And then I got to shape my envelope one. So let's go ahead and just shape this up to get it to sound a bit more like a cowbell. And you can play around with this release or the sustain. And also that fine tuning. And then maybe I'll just put a compressor on. Let 
like that. And then I got to put on my bandpass filter. So let's do a band, uh, let's do band 12. And let's put this around, put it on for A and B. Maybe somewhere around there sounds good. And then from there, once you have that sound, you can add on like some really intense distortion. Some reverb maybe. And maybe that distortion, maybe I could use a different distortion, like just overdrive. Let's do overdrive in my, for my effects. See how that sounds. This might be pretty loud. So that'd be kind of like how I would create that cowbell. And just playing around with the fine tuning on these two oscillators can get you different variations of kind of like the detuning sound. Now you don't have to just use two square waves to make this sound. I actually made my own funk cowbell sound in Serum and it sounds like this. This is just like the melody from that remix of Worth Nothing by Oliver Tree. So the cowbell sound sounds like this. And if you add like some distortion and some reverb on it to it. Sounds like this. By itself. And so for this sound, I actually didn't even use square waves. So what I did is, let's go ahead and just take off those uh, distortion and the reverb. So what I did is I actually used two saw waves and they're both seven semitones apart. Uh, so that's why I had this one plus five and this one's up an octave. So it's seven semitones apart. Um, but then I added in this sub just to get kind of like this beginning knock sound. That click sound. And then this is the first oscillator. Second oscillator. So just to get more of that um, initial like punch in the beginning, I added this sub as a sine wave. And then I have this envelope one assigned to this MG low six filter, turned it on for all of the different oscillators. And then I have some things going on with the LFOs. So the LFO one, I have this assigned to the master tuning, which gives you like the click sound at the beginning. And let's bypass it. And then this LFO two is actually pitching down the sound a little bit as I hold it out. So it's kind of like detuning the sound a tiny bit. And then I have this LFO4, doesn't matter, I could put on the LFO3, but this one is just kind of like adjusting the pitch of this second oscillator B slightly as I'm playing it. So there's always a variation in the sound for each note. So it's always kind of like uh, detuning slightly as I play a melody. So that's like a completely different variation and you don't have to like stick to using those two square waves. But if you use kind of like two oscillators that uh, plus seven semitones apart usually, uh, then you can kind of play with it, around with the sound, play around with the fine tuning. You can get uh, some interesting like do tuning sounds, uh, playing around with like the fine tuning on these two oscillators. And then I have some effects, just uh, compressor and EQ for my cowbell sound. Now I did use Serum, but you could also do this in Operator. So if I go back to that original Operator here where I have the fixed oscillators, let's just go and take the fixed off. I can play around with this fine tuning knob and it has a thousand. I don't know so what it would be for a seventh or so, or seven semitones. But something like that sounds kind of right. Let me just go ahead and check it with a span. So yeah, if I check that with a span, I mean, that's pretty close around 560 Hertz and this one's around 850 or so. So yeah, you could also just play around with this fine tuning knob on in your operator and also your filter. 
And you can create your cowbell sound just using operator if you want to use that. So that's basically how you would synthesize that funk cowbell sound from scratch. I'll put down below links to download the serum presets for free. I'll put that serum preset that I created that was kind of like the more original sound. And then also a second one that is more like that 808 cowbell sound. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like and also please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are not yet subscribed. And if you'd like to check out any of my serum preset packs, I'll put links down below for those as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.